Welcome to Skater Stories, where we are asking members of our skate community to share their story of why they started roller skating to inspire others. I'm Mel, owner of Roller Girl Gang and passionate roller skater. I am being joined by lovely Claire. So Claire is based in the northeast of England, I want to say. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yay, that's right. Okay, so I'm just going to hand straight over to Claire. Tell us a bit about yourself and roller skating. Um, I I live in the little tiny town on the northeast coast in Northumberland. It's very sandy. It's got beautiful beach. It's gorgeous. And it's got the loveliest pond for skating on. And um, the little skate park just down the road from where I live, like mm -hmm. five minute walk. And um, it's one of those things where I, I kind of thought, yeah, I, I fancy doing skating, but I'm, I'm a bit past it because I'd skated when I was a teenager and my skating experience as a teenager was just sort of like pootling along around the roller disco, which mm -hmm. hundreds of kids went to my sort of age. And then I was quite obsessive. I've got that sort of nature. Mm -hmm. um, and I skated to and from school and to and from everywhere I went, but it was literally just around the streets. Nothing, nothing fancy, just up and down the streets and round the roller disco. No jumps, no roller derby, did play a little bit of hockey, but, you know, nothing majorly exciting, but I loved it. And uh, when I was about 17, 18, that kind of died off. I picked up some other interests and... They went off to university and mm -hmm. the skate got left in the cupboard and time goes by and you don't skate and you don't do anything much. And um, I'd, I'd seen a friend doing some roller derby a few years ago and I'd seen clips of her doing that on like social media. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, what? I'd really like to give that a go. And by the time I sort of like got up the guts to actually think about skating, it was locked down. No skates. Nothing. It was about 18, nearly two years ago, actually. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter had got a set of um, like kids skates, but she got them at the time when she just got to adult size feet and they were my size. And I thought, I'm going to try these skates on. I'm going to go out. There's a bit of a nice flat basketball court near where I live. I'm going to put them on, put these skates on and go, I'm going to skate. I'm going to be great. And I put them on and I was like Bambi, you know, it was like, I can't, I couldn't move on them. They were awful. I was just, I can't possibly do this. This is just dreadful. There's no way I can skate. But I kind of kept going on about it. I kept following some couple of skaters on YouTube. I thought this would be really cool to do and have a go at. And my husband and my children bought me a pair of Kaya skates for Mother's Day 2021. Mm -hmm. And I put them on and I went out in them and I couldn't believe the difference. It was like my body kind of remembered some of the stuff that I could do. Now, it wasn't great, but I could go forwards. Mm -hmm. I could go backwards. I could turn around just about. It was a bit wobbly. And I just thought, this is great. I'm going to just come out and skate and just use it as a bit of exercise. The trouble is I kept getting a little bit more obsessed by it and more obsessed by it. <laughs> there, was, there was no roller derby happening, but, yeah. you know, within... Within a few weeks, I've been down the prom on the lovely, beautiful tarmac prom where I live. And I've been around some of the trails, found some nice smooth paths and had a little skate. And I was like, I want more. I want more. I want more. I want more. <laughs> um, I thought, I'd love to have a go at a skate park. Never had a go at a skate park. Had a, found one near me with just a couple of shallow banks. Mm -hmm. And that was the scariest thing I've ever done, went down these, these shallow banks. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, I really like this. I'd, I'd like to do some more of it. It was absolutely petrifying. And at this point, I was nearly 50. At this point, I was 49, nearly 50. And, you know, people are going, you're roller skating at your age. What on earth do you think you're doing? And you're not mm -hmm. scared of breaking any bones or anything like that. I was like, well, whatever. Um, and so I skated a bit. And then I thought, well, you know, the weather's a bit rubbish around here. Maybe, maybe if I could find an indoor skate park to skate at, that would be great. Um, and I discovered there was one about half an hour away from where I live, but it didn't have anything for roller skaters. It was all BMX or scooters. Mm -hmm. It's a big scooter thing for lots of kids. That's its primary sort of thing. But I got in touch yeah. with the 
the owner and he kind of said well if you can get a group of skaters together who are interested in coming along we'll put something on so um i didn't know anybody and there was one girl at work who knew did a bit of skating so i asked her and she got some contacts and by a side kind of facebook and instagram we managed to get enough of us together to to start a skate night and that started in a about May 21, I managed to get that going in the local skate park. That's brilliant. And I went along and, you know, I, I, you know, again, just not got a clue, never been on a harp pipe, never been down a ramp, you know, and it was all very sort of like that. But I was absolutely loving it. I was really getting into it. Fantastic sort of experience and really enjoying it. Uh, and then I broke my wrist. I fell yeah. over and I broke my wrist in August. I had a brilliant skate park session the week before and then I just fell over a bit of a stone you know I wasn't even doing anything yeah. impressive and that put me back for a little while and I went back to it um kind of January last year so about a year mm -hmm. ago when I'd recovered and like I got a bit sort of like life hadn't got in the way mm -hmm. and I went back to skate now this and the local derby team had decided they were going to do some um some skater intakes so I'm going to give it a go because I really fancy doing this derby <laughs> And I went along to the new skater intakes and I absolutely adored doing all the drills and all the mm -hmm. skate skills and it was brilliant for my confidence. Um, I just didn't like the competitive gameplay. So, you know, yeah. I was just one of those people yeah. that just goes, yeah, I can see why people really love this. But, yeah. you know, at sort of 50, I don't want to be throwing myself into other people. And it was a it was a mixed team, so there are a lot of really mm. big guys on that team. And mm -hmm. I'm just like going, I, you know, after the wrist break, I was like, mm, maybe I don't want to physically throw myself into other mm -hmm. people. So um, I decided kind of at that point that I'd stick with a skate park, sort of skating. And I never knew that, I, I didn't go into it ever intending that that would be the thing that I love. And I'm not very good. I still class myself very much as a, a beginner, you know, I can do a drop in. I can do a plate stall sometimes, but not consistently. I, but I, it's just absolutely, it's like flying. Yeah. It is absolutely like flying. You'll know, you'll know what I mean. Um, and as I've been going along, we've got another little skate night goes on, on a Friday now, which is a beginner's night. And there's lots of, mostly women, but there are guys who come along as well of all ages and one of the things I've absolutely loved is connecting with a wide group of people that I probably wouldn't have connected with before you know that I mean I'm, I'm the grandma of the group right I'm not a grandma but you know I'm the elder by a country yeah. mile you know and, and people will be going oh yeah I'm too old to do this and I'm going I'm doing it you're not too old you know and it, it's one of those things just keep giving it a go I go along some weeks, I'll go, yes, yeah, I'm going to learn this trick and, and nail it. And the next week, you know, I'll just spend most of my time flat on my backside. But it, it, yes. it's fun. It's exercise. It's a whole new group of people. It's getting outside and just enjoying it. I've been sick of sort of like just doing boring exercise because I'm, I'm, I'm not one for going to the gym. Mm. And I'm not one for you know lifting weights and or you know going to an exercise class requires a sort of I don't know what it is about exercise classes and skating feels like a chore it does absolutely it mm. feels like a chore and I do a bit of Pilates and do a bit of yoga mm -hmm. and a walk but I yeah I just wanted something fun to do something and, fun it just and it takes you it kind of transports you mentally yeah. to a completely different place yeah, as well it really, it really does and actually i've even got at school i'm a teacher and i've even managed to get a roller skate club going at school yes. and it's just in the school hall we get about 30 kids each week coming along and you know you've got kids in there who are really confident you've got some who've never put skates on their feet and just i can't teach them a lot but you know the whizzing enough. around the you know they'll play stick in the mud and We'll get a few cones out for them to jump over those that are confident doing that. And it's really nice to see how they, you know, just progress really quickly. And they're just, you know, kids are fearless. You know, I'm full of fear. Yes. But, you know, I see these kids jumping over those things and I'm going, I won't do that. No, yeah. And that's fine. You don't have to. 
exactly. <laughs> you don't have to demonstrate it. Just it's a suggestion. You can yeah. try this. Yeah. Yeah. So it, yeah, and it's just been. Yeah, I think it's. I know I'm not going to be able to do the skate park thing forever. That's you know my time is limited on that simply because of my age and the fact that you know there'll, there'll come a point when injury is, is too high risk but you know the roller disco is still there mm. and the prom's still there and so I'm hoping I'm going to be doing this for a long long time I'm going to hit the skate park for as long as I possibly can I'm going to keep going as long as I can and keep it's a great way to keep fit mm -hmm. and keep active and um, you know somebody was actually talking to me the other week about actually as you get older bent leg sports are really good for you like skiing, like skating, ice skating, roller skating, all sorts of skating because they develop your core, they develop your balance, which is essential to, for you to have as you mm -hmm. age. So the fact that I'm older and doing this is still like, like yes. Yes. Power. Got ticked. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Aging disgracefully, absolutely. Yeah, and I think like we should redefine what it looks like because. Mm -hmm why should the young people and children have fun and frivolous activities when actually everybody needs that? Absolutely. I think we sometimes as adults, we can, as adults we can forget that we need to have fun and we need to play. Mm -hmm. um, it's how oh, you don't play games and mature. Like, no, mm. get out there, play, have fun. Yes. Yeah, have you fun. should play and put the worries down absolutely just for a period of time they'll still mm -hmm. be there don't worry they're there yeah. to pick up again once you've taken the skates off but actually you kind of come off the roller skates but re-energized yeah and you like tackle things in a different way or you've kind of problem solved with that realizing in a different way yeah but what a brilliant little skate community you've kind of created and you're supporting yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not all me. There was people around anyway. And, you know, the the group of folks, that, they're so there for each other on, you know, on every sort of like aspect of life now. It's like, it's like a little self-help group, you know. Uh -huh. But, yeah. you know, one, one of the lasses was saying she'd had a really tough time at work this week. She was looking, looking forward to, to going out and really just, have an amazing time skating and just I really need this you know yeah and it, it's that release isn't it it's it's almost like rather than drinking your large bottle of wine on a Friday night go out and exercise and go to rent probably do yeah that. it's healthier <laughs> definitely but yeah yeah it's 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 lovely to be part of a community and I find it so supportive mm. I, I don't think I've ever been anywhere in any other sort of sporting environment that has been so supportive and yeah you know there's always a little few niggles and you get that everywhere but mm -hmm. it is such a, a lovely community you know and it's just and everybody's a vermin of yeah everybody else you know yeah so, yeah, to so yeah totally and and I think that's like the overwhelming love of roller skating but for the people that mm -hmm. make the community what it is because ultimately it's an inanimate object mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the thing that makes gives them the power are the people that power them Absolutely. And, and I think that's like why I was really keen to share people's mm. stories because actually you're so important with mm. like even if you don't realize it like other people realize it without people working together to kind of hold these spaces and create them in the first place yeah then it becomes inaccessible for anyone else to to join because they become closed spaces mm. but you're welcoming of anybody any gender any body type any age anybody just if you want to come and try just come and try and that's a huge gift yeah and our community it is so diverse you know, we've got we've got people from all sorts of different backgrounds, you know, and it's just it is just lovely, you know. And it doesn't it really matter is. what whatever yeah. anybody's done yeah. or doing, just leave it at the door and just come and skate. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Ah, that's really. fantastic. So if 
if you had someone new walking in who is kind of panicking that is this for me am I in the right place um is like is there advice you give them is there something you kind of talk them through to ease them into to the roller skating like particularly at the skate park because that can be really quite daunting yeah I think a lot of people have this real fear of falling over mm. and are, are people going to laugh at me because I fall over like nine times out of ten it's us falling over and laughing at ourselves mm. um, yeah. you know that you know it, it's something that happens and actually being able to relax into yourself is, is something really good and I think the people coming in that are a little bit nervous, just, I just encourage them to take it steady and do what's comfortable for them mm -hmm. and go at their own pace, but have fun. But also to try things and just be willing to maybe just have a go at something. And it yeah. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, I mean, I, I, I start skating at the same time as another girl who just, her progress just went straight through the roof. And, you know, and I'm still a little old me just poodling along at my own little pace. And it doesn't yeah. matter. I think it's a journey you go on and you go at your own pace. And as long as you are enjoying it and as long as it's bringing you joy and you're getting something out of it, whether it, you're throwing yourself down a ramp, you're skating around your local park or you're hitting a roller disco or you, you know, battering people at roller derby, you know whatever it is if you're if you're enjoying it it's bringing you joy and you're not feeling a sense of obligation to it then it's worthwhile and it doesn't matter how fast or slow you progress you just go at your own journey you go on your own pace and I have to keep telling myself that sometimes because sometimes I do get frustrated that mm. I want to go quicker because I'm competitive with myself yeah no I hear that and I think that's that is a really difficult thing to kind of unlearn almost mm, mm. that like the kind of we don't show ourselves the same compassion that we would show somebody else and the way that you talk to someone else and go no you're, you're doing great what are you talking about you mean I know you're finding this hard but you're learning a hard thing so yeah. of course it's going to be hard and, and actually you're you're making progress but I'm going to point out that progress that you're making but then when we don't make the progress ourselves and we're like no but I was able to do this last week why where's the skill gone this week but understanding and it's it takes a long time I think to mm. understand that your progress isn't necessarily going to be linear no it isn't because it isn't, so. it's affected by so much isn't it yeah well progress isn't linear you know I'm a teacher you, and I know that kids ah, nobody yeah. goes like this it's Think usually not. like this Right. Yes, this, <laughs> this, the plateau. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, you know, that happens in all types of learning. But it, it's, it's just, it's just a wonderful way, I think, you know, I mean, my husband said something to me, he'd been doing some art stuff on the iPad. He's going, I love learning new things. And so do I. And that's what skating brings me because it's always something mm. new to learn. It doesn't matter what level you're at. There's always something new to learn. I don't think I'm ever going to be doing sort of like invert, you know, cartwheels and throwing myself upside down over ramps and things like that. But I see other people doing it and go, you must be mad. But, <laughs> yes. yeah. you know, it, it's it's one of those things I go, wow, that is amazing. I'm quite happy just pumping the transition. <laughs> yes, I'm right with you. I'll be next to you pumping that transition and not worrying about the cartwheel or being upside down. Exactly. And I think feeling like feeling secure in what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can help that. Yeah. Otherwise, because yeah. I definitely used to feel a lot of jealousy. Like, why can't I do that? I've been doing it for longer than they have. And they've like yeah. accelerated and overtaken where I'm at. And then I'm like, actually, do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I think the other thing for me as well is, um, is kit. And I started with these beautiful um, Kaya jump skates and, mm. you know, they were, they were a great beginner. They were great beginner skates for me because they were comfortable. They were adjustable. I could still be skating them now. I've just upgraded, but um, I've tried heeled skates and mm. I had reefers. 
and you know had these beautiful skates and I've tried all these different skates and I've bought things and sold things um and I think sometimes you know you but just getting the best you can afford mm. you know is is really good and even if that's buying something second hand if you can't afford to buy new yeah um but actually just getting getting the best that you can afford and you know when you're ready to upgrade something say think of, do a bit of research and find out what's out there before you just go by the first thing you see because it is um you know i've, I've seen so many people go in and the they bought cheaper option skates mm. and they've not lasted them very long and mm. they've suddenly ended up spending a lot more money and they just go you know my my kayas they, they cost me about 150 pounds new well i didn't buy them much you know they're about 150 quid and they were a really 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 good start escape for me for mm -hmm. what I you know for what I ended up doing mm -hmm. um and I just think you know just that's, that's something you know just I know obviously get the best you can afford whatever your price range range is and if you need advice talk to Mel <laughs> talk to the shop team the fabulous shop team Absolutely. who we have now very skilled yeah. um but absolutely yeah I'm, that's cut, cutting that out claire you just there's no <laughs> that fire. um thank you so much for sharing awesome. all of those insights and it sounds like you've got so much passion for roller skating and it's been an important part of your life at like at lots of stages mm -hmm. but how lovely to like come back to it and now find this incredible community that you're yeah. absolutely a, an integral part of creating. Yeah, my husband put this way, it's not a midlife crisis, it's a midlife revival. Yes, yes, definitely it is. And um, thank you so much for sharing, Claire, on that note. Thank I you, Mel. You, goodbye. See you later. Bye. Thank you for listening to today's Skate Story. I hope you find it as inspiring and uplifting as I did. Can't wait for the next one.